I shake out my purse onto the table, revealing a book published in the USA 1991. A pen, a hairbrush, a keyring, my wallet with up-to-date bank cards, student ID and state non-driver's ID. They're gonna steal it off you. A packet of tissues, a squished pack of vending machine crackers and of course my cell phone. I hand over the evidence along with explanations. After I turn on the cell phone, Linz takes it from my hand and stares in fascination. What's so exciting about no signal? Full colour and such high resolution in something so small? Yes, it's called nanotechnology. You really are living in the past. It's just a toy. I'm sure we could produce a toy like this with dedicated factories, but the cost would be far too much for a prank, even for someone like Nathaniel. Do you truly come from our future, Janet? There wasn't a Queen Charlotte in the 80s, either. There hasn't been a king or queen here for over 200 years. A parallel universe. Fascinating. Oh, God. Not the universe card. We're not sure what to write here, so we'll just say a parallel universe. It's like something magic coming from the past and just blaming it on the Mayans. Alright, we'll run with it, we'll run with it. That's impossible. Not impossible, just very, very improbable. Perhaps you judge Bradley's motives too quickly. I never denied having a colossal ego. Oh, okay, Bradley, you have to let him out and find out what he knows. He's been researching this. He attacked us. With, 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 with a bit of reason. Like, a bit. Alvin, you're a prick. But you know, it's with, a, with some reason. He was scared and confused. He won't do it again. So you're on his side after all. I'm on my side. Something very strange is going on. We should share what knowledge we have. Well, I won't be a part of it. Come on, Linz. If they're letting him out, we'd better make sure that lab is secure. And Linz goes with him. What a bastard. And so your colonies declared independence in the time of King George III? That's right. No American resolution, no Continental Congress. Instead, they have a, county name, a country named Atlanta, after the ocean, and it's part of the British Commonwealth. But the river is still the, river is still the Mississippi. But it is still part of the British Commonwealth. I mean, like, look, I'm not saying this parallel universe I'm living in is a good one, but this one does sound better. The British still own everything. I'm okay with that, personally. I mean, with my voice, I could just waltz in and have people work and give me money. It'd be brilliant. Was it the same King George that we had? It would seem so. Perhaps this is where our worlds diverged. That depends. Have you ever heard of Shakespeare? What's that? Okay, then. Your world is a lot different from ours. Once he heard that Nathaniel and the others might actually believe his story, Bradley was eager to help. He doesn't seem to hold a grudge for being locked up overnight. Well, I can kind of understand Bradley's thinking. Kind of. Of course, Nathaniel isn't returning Bradley's weapon. I don't know what happened to it, they didn't tell me, which is reasonable. What would you recommend as a good world history text? It would be interesting to see what else. Don't get distracted, Janet. If this is another world, learning its history won't solve our problems. He does have a point, Janet. You're just being too curious. Which are? How did we get here? What happens to the other people who disappeared? And how do we get home? All very good questions. You. Please, we should not be enemies. I'm liking the story now. I'm actually getting involved into it. I do know a vague amount of history. I mean, it's mostly European and... Anywhere else in America, <laughs> truth be told. A very, very vague understanding of American history. But you know, the American Swats must be loving this and people in America. Or other people around the rest of the world are fucked, but you know, you can Wikipedia it, is what it's there for. Perhaps not. However, I should inform you that the entrance to my laboratory is locked and trapped with a variety of interesting measures. Therefore, if you are here to engage in industrial espionage, you would be advised to reconsider, unless you enjoy excruciating pain. In which case, we might be able to devise something more entertaining to do together. How lovely. You freak. Is this all part of your scheme off yours after all? You may fool them, but you don't fool me. Bradley, stop it. We need his help. You know what, Bradley? For a minute, you were off my smiting list. Straight back on it by being a prick. He doesn't want to help us. On the contrary, if you have discovered a method of extra universal travel, I am eager to learn about it. Where is Alban? He still believes that these two are either deranged or unfriendly agents or both. But you've changed your mind? 
That's my prerogative. Prerogative? I don't know. It's that. It's, it's prerogative. Okay, so what do we know? We've jumped from our world into yours, and this has probably happened to people before. Bradley, you said people were disappearing every five years. And the first one was 25 years ago, right? The first one I could find in the papers. Not every missing person gets news coverage, and it's not always easy to know where someone disappeared from. You could just ask the families. I mean, that's, that's what they do in games, so it, it, it must work in real life. There could be more. Of course. Who would do... Who would... Who would... Why would anything be simple? Fucking hell, I get in my... Like, my mouth is like I've got a cup down my throat. It's horrible. All right, but they did they all come here? Susan said that she saw a large house with lights in the windows, but that's not much of a description. I thought it was this house, but I can't be sure. Susan was your sister? <laughs> Janet, you're back really high up my smiling list. Susan is my sister. She's out there somewhere. Well, what does she look like, in case someone saw her here? Taller than you, about 5'9", five 5'9", nine, five that's a 1 meter 72.5 for those that want to round it up. I know it's not exact, it's the round up figure, it's what the BBC use in England. Ah, brown hair down past her shoulders with bright purple streaks. Hazel eyes, she had three piercings in one ear and one in the other. Hey Linz, we haven't seen your ears! Oh, okay. Maybe not, though. The night she went out five years ago, she was in a black, little black dress and a red leather jacket and her old blue backpack. She'd been out to a party. She was coming back. Her car broke down. She went to the house to help. She was only 20. I'm sorry. If someone like that had knocked on our door, I think I would remember. 25 years ago! I'm not going to remember what happens now when I'm 44. All right, whatever. I didn't live in this province five years ago. Neither did Raphael. You might ask Alwyn. A girl like that, if she'd come to this city, could have ended up running with his friends. What do you mean, a girl like that? Now, now, don't rush to judgment. I have very fond memories of that kind of girl. You slimy son of a... Quiet! Bradley, just calm the fuck down for a couple of seconds. Getting aggro here. It's not nice. Bradley, he always talks like that. Don't rise to it. Linz, please remember that this young man does not know if his sister is alive or well. Please be gentle with him. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, the innuendos follow. My point was only that she sounds like a young woman who prefers entertainment to study. Bradley sighs. It doesn't matter. Anyway, Susan was going to the house that she saw. If she was never here, if she was thrown into some other universe, there's always hope. She could have arrived at a time when I was away from home. <laughs> 25 years ago. You're not even 25, Nathaniel! Oh, whatever. With Lynn's experiment is complete and force field gone, we can contact... Lynn's glares at Nathaniel. But I'm distracted as the weight of the matter suddenly settles on my shoulders. We're in another universe. Different history, different science, different people. When that force field goes away, we'll still be in another universe. No! What's causing the force field, though? You don't just go into a random place and the force field's like, Nope. <laughs> Not letting you out and you're trapped in my one, bitch. <sighs> Who knows that when we come out, we'll just go back to the same place we were. Oh, whatever. We're not trapped for three days. We're trapped forever. My head spins. Linz is speaking, but I can't hear him. Oddly enough, it's his presence that gives me focus. The last time I panicked, he knocked me out. I don't want him to do that again. I have to think positively. Wait, someone's talking to me. Janet, are you alright? I'm okay, I'm just uh, thinking about our problems, like you said. Your sister has never been able to get home, right? Even if we find her, what do we do then? If we're trapped here, how do we live? Without internet? I know for a 19 year old girl such as Janet, that would be the most fucking difficult thing to do ever, but you know, you can give it a go. My school doesn't exist in this universe, how do I get my degree? Perhaps I can help? We'll find a way out. I got here, didn't I? When everyone said it was impossible, and I didn't even know where I was trying to get to. And now, you'll have someone intelligent insisting you. I'd smite you, but I feel that comment isn't entirely unwarranted. Bradley glares, but this time he is able to resist Lynn's taunting. However, for the next three days, our focus is still here. The procedure must be completed. But some of us enjoy multitasking. 
We can't afford to lose you to another universe. Naturally. Nathaniel closes his eyes and takes a deep breath. Bradley, Janet, you are my guests. <laughs> Here, I have this really un like uncharacteristic for the moment gay music. And I will do whatever I can for you, so long as you are respectful to the other members of the house. Please stay out of the basement and don't disturb Linz when he needs to work. Please respect the privacy of others. I understand. Yeah, whatever. I expect you'll be able to find many interesting books here, now that you know where you are. So, if you'll excuse us. With a polite nod, Nathaniel exits and Linz goes with him. Just our luck that we ended up in a universe of force field and mad scientists. <laughs> Don't come across to it that quickly. You don't... Someone doesn't die and then you just go, oh, just I like to run into some murderers. <laughs> jazz hands. I don't... I need jazz hands in real life. I don't know why. Oh, God, Janet. Whatever. Could be worse. Could be dragons. Oh, get out. Just... Just get out. Ah, no, really. A rich guy offering us a place to stay while we search and a crazy scientist helping us to get back. That's about the best I could hope for. So you don't think they're serial killers or ghosts anymore? I don't know anything for certain, but this explanation makes more sense. The simplest, expl <laughs> simplest explanation! Oh, they could just all be lying. But, alright, whatever. The simplest explanation is that this is all one crazy dream. You're too smart to believe you're crazy. No, no, I've got an AQ that rivals a ham sandwich. Well, that's true. We're there, stat, smiling at each other and thinking about a wild, mixed up world it is. And therefore, we don't even hear someone else enter the room. Uh oh. Don't even think you're getting off that easy. So Nathaniel's soft, wants to, be ev wants to think everyone is all nicey nicey, but I'm not. You're a coward and a liar and a maniac, and I'm not going to forgive you for what you've done. What about you? You've been hassling us ever since we got here. You punched me in the face. You tried to kill me. If I tried to kill you, you'd be dead. They look like they're about to come to blows. What should Janet do? Jump between them, get... <laughs> get Nathaniel. Oh, no, come on. We've got to jump between them. I've heard that Nathaniel is... Nathaniel? That, what do you call it? Thingy isn't as bad as he sounds. So, we're going to roll with that theory for a bit. We're going to roll with it. All right, we're going to roll with it. If we can figure out how to do this. Oh, thank fuck for that. We got there in the end. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, oh, that took us a minute too longer than it should have. All right, we're going to jump between them. Before this can get any more painfully macho, I rush between them. Janet, knock it off, you two. Nobody cares that you hate each other. We're all stuck in here, so just shut up. Get out of my way. I feel that going to fetch Nathaniel was pointless because that would solve nothing. Make me. This is between him and me. You shut up too. What do you think you're going to accomplish anyway? Knocking each other's teeth out? You'll bleed all over the carpet and you'll still be here, idiots. Alban raises his hands in surrender and steps and takes a step back. I submit to Janet. I don't like you. You know that. Point made. Just stay out of my way. He leaves the library. Phew. I thought that guy was going to brain me again. If you didn't want to fight, why were you egging him on? Is this some stupid guy thing? Who looks that seductively whilst judging a guy? Alright, whatever. You heard him. He wasn't going to let it go. And sorry, wouldn't cut it. Some people keep pushing until you push back. So you have to butt heads. It is a stupid guy thing. Maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa. At least we settle our arguments. We don't sit around bitching around one another for like a month before something's done about it. Yeah, I'm playing the stereotype girl card, which isn't true. <laughs> Alright, was somebody yelling? Raphael peels, peels, peers tentatively into the room. You! Hi, we have a long story to tell you. Wow, <laughs> one which took three fucking hours. Alright, the door is closed, hiding the force field from my view. And now that I've had some time to think about it, I wonder what lies beyond. There's a whole new world out there. Are there trees like our trees? Are there squirrels grey, red or black? Traffic lights, street signs, airplanes, everything could be foreign. There's a hundred thousand things out there I want to see. Oh my god, everything could be foreign? Oh no, we could step out there and we could all be French. Oh, 
Oh, God. God, why? Why? But as long as the barrier lasts, this mansion is my entire universe. Me and them. Of all the boys, it's Bradley that I feel most drawn to. When I agreed to go out with him, I wasn't taking it seriously. I thought he was trying to prove he could date the entire freshman class with some sort of male bragging rights there. So in a funny way, I was doing it to fit in. Everybody else went out with him, so I would too. Oh god, I don't want to go out with Bradley. Ugh. Alright, whatever. And Vanessa had been so shocked when she found out that I'd never been on a date ever, which I guess shows that I was doing a good job of acting normal otherwise. I didn't want to explain to her that the boys at high school really thought of me and how humiliated I'd been. I just told her that no one measured up to my standards, which was always true. She thought I should go out with Bradley, just for practice, and I agreed. She went out for dinner and a movie, both of us through going through the motions and we were bored out of our minds. I didn't know him at all. The real Bradley isn't some jock scoring points by collecting freshman girls. He's been searching for his lost sister for five years, with everyone telling him he was crazy, telling him to give up. Oh my god. I, I'm slightly worried now. Because if I try and go for, like, Linz, and this has happened with Bradley, does that mean I get a bad ending? Oh, God. I feel I've made a grave error somewhere. Fuck. <laughs>